pizza, pizza, monster pizza. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am in French Lick, Indiana, uh, and I am going into Finders Keepers. It's a really fun antique mall. I've been here a couple times before, so let's go in and see what we can find today. All right, now I am on the hunt for Christmas today, as always, but, you know, Christmas, we're starting to come to that period where Christmas is, uh, you know, it's going to be over with soon. I know. I'm sad about it, too, so... But, let's see. Oh, there's tools. I don't do tools. Oh, look, there's all these little home co bears. There, there's a little, oh, look, there's a little dressed up guy with this pumpkin. He's the only holiday one that's in there. I don't know what these guys are. I think they're home co, though. Got some plates here. Some pins. What is this guy doing? She's with her child? Dog? She's with her dog. There's a little snowman that says hi. Some more Christmas pins there. Here. Look down here. Here's Santa on a jar. He's eleven ninety-five. I don't know who made him. Oh look, there's a gingerbread man in that guy back there. Oh well, these are neat. Very nautical little coasters. Which are they? Nine ninety-five. That's not Christmas, but they're still neat. These can sometimes do pretty well. <laughs> on eBay, these old pencil sharpeners. It's missing its little crank though. All right, here is a booth that I usually find some pretty nice things in. That's where I found a bunch of the dogs. I don't see the dogs. I think the dogs have all been sold or they've just moved them around a little bit. What is this? For, oh, it's an ice cream, is it an ice cream maker? Remove, put in mixture, put in freezer, and it works. Rare ice cream maker. Oh my gosh, wait, what do you do? Where do you put the ice cream? You put the stuff in, where do you put the stuff in? I'm confused, I don't know what to do, but that's pretty cool. I like that. It's very heavy though. Some crocs, some little figurines down here. This is kind of fun. This vintage ashtray. This table has all glassware. Is forty percent off. Wow! Look at that. Hand blown vases are sixty five dollars. That's a statement in your entryway for sure. It's 40% off, it's $65. But I'm looking at this right here. This is Viking divided dish. It's $12, but it's 40% off. So I am gonna get that today. Let's see what else is over here. A little Norman Rockwell piece. Oh. It's $12, 1979. Look, that rooster will hold your spoons. Ooh, this is nice, this Ellie Smith. Um, I'm kind of thinking that it might be Viking. It's $45, it's 40% off. Hmm. I like it. Look at those sculptures. These are different, aren't they? They're an artist's piece. It's a different hand art glass piece all right it's the clear glass this is pretty the lead crystal it's pretty all right I think I'm just gonna get this on this table today 
All right, this is always a cute booth here. Look, they've got these quilt pieces. Make it like a little curtain. I think that's really cute. All right, let's see what we can find in here today. Oh, the good old days. 1983, you get all of these magazines for $2. The Magazine of Happy Memories. I like that little magazine. Like, well, I think it's for a recipe book. But photos, poems, cartoons, songs, illustrations. I mean, for $2, I think I'm going to get those. Oh, you know what? There's more. Are these it too? Yeah, the good old days. 1971. That's 1983. I don't, none of them are, they're not, none of them are, or there's no colored illustrations, I guess is what I'm trying to say. 1982. 1977. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Let's Letters, stories. I'm going to get one of them. I kind of wish I could see the covers on some of the other. Oh, there's the little boy's. There's a nipple right there of a boy. Actually, here, we'll put this one here. This one's 1983. I'm going to get this one because I might be able to, like, relate to a lot of the things. I was a child of the 80s. I do kind of like this, though. It's not... It's not terribly vintage, but it does make a nice little display there, doesn't it? It's a whole thing of swizzle sticks from French Lick Sheridan Hotel. Right. Oh my gosh, there's more. My goodness. Look at that happy fella. This is from December 1973. So smart of her, too, to put the December ones on the top. Uh, 1975. That was the year that I was born. So... This one's 1977. That's a neat graphic on that one, isn't it? And then this one here is from 1980. I don't know. Should I get a couple of these? I'll get a couple of them. This one's 1995. Maybe I should get 1975. It's 77. There's 1975, but man, look at that. 1973. I think these are probably all 19. No, see, they're different. 1981, 1982. So, we'll get a couple of them. Why not? We'll get two sets. I see this hook here. It looks like a little girl on a sled. And I think I'm going to get it. I need something to hang stockings from. This is from Comfortable House. House. But I think I'm going to get this. It's $5. I think it would be cute to put on the wall and hang stockings from. Although this is kind of nice too. And this is something that, and it's $6. Rack of hooks. I'll have to have them get it down for me, but... That's something that I could display other things on. This one's more just for winter. So this is something that I could, yeah. So I think I'm gonna get this one. Yeah. The quilt piece here for $8, but I think I'm gonna get this because I think I like it as a, to put on my dining room table as a runner. So I'm gonna get this for myself as well. What do you know? I'm just gonna buy for myself today, apparently. Not really. Okay, I want to get this in my cart, and I'm going to ask them to get that off of the wall. And you know what? Look, see? They've got it on this table here. So there's a, there's two more. So I think I'm going to get all three of them. So they will be not some for me and some for you if you would like to purchase one. Pizza, pizza. Monster pizza. Do you guys remember Noble Romans? This is the monster pizza. Pizza, pizza. $18. Oh my gosh. I know y'all remember that, right? I bought one of those for a friend of mine. This is a neat. It's $45. Reflecting good taste. Hello. In a in any weather, 
greens homogized milk but <laughs> they've got the um temperature the today and then the weather i think that's so cool for 45 dollars, i actually think that's a really good price i think that's really neat oh there's ronald he's ready to eat his cheeseburger i have him he's the he's an acceptable clown i think i've said this before but if you see if he works you put the whistle in his mouth and then you squeeze his belly oh and he blow, look there's grimace he blows his whistle. Get in there. See? Oh, Ronald. He's $12.99. I had him. Like I said, he's the only acceptable clown in my life. Ronald. It's a happy childhood. There's Michael Jackson and Elvis. A fun little cowbell. We all need more cowbell, right? For two dollars and fifty cents. I have a thing for bells. I like to put bells around things. What's this? Oh, it's a jack in the box, which is very clown like to me. I'll put that, I'll put that down. There's the country kitchen. This booth is a fun booth. It always has nice things in here. There's a little McCoy planter. Or, oh no, you're not. You're Morton. Look at you, you Morton planter. For $7. That's nice. It has the attached base to it. This is pretty too for $3. I like that. It's got a little chippy down there though. We have Horlicks Milk for $15. This is a neat bottle here for $23. Oh, let's move the lightning rod bulb out of the way that vining and stuff on it oh look there's a Bobby Knight basketball I don't have a Bobby Knight basketball in here real estate in our Olson insurance and real estate it's got that old phone number on it I like advertisement pieces for $28 this may rise and fall but our service is always up mouse poison. Oh, it's got the original paper label on it, though. Poison. The original rat and mouse poison. It's arsenic. That's kind of a cool bottle. It's got that... <gasps> okay, I'm gonna get that. It's got the embossment of the rat. I'm kind of concerned that it still has remnants of the poison on the inside, but it's $12.99. Do I like this? That's that. Is that weird? Hopefully somebody else will like it too and they'll want to buy it, but I'm going to put it in my cart. All right, here's a little funnel for a jar. So you put this on top of your ball jar and you could pour stuff in it. $12.99 enamel funnel. Yo, yo, my walking kitty. He always finds really cool, like vintage toys and stuff. It's a catcher's mitt. Sometimes these can go for a really nice price. It's $19.99. Oh, there's a penguin ice thing. Oh, Jeffrey wants these sarcophagus sarcophaguses. Oh, it's G.I. Joe. It's a G.I. Joe mummy. I don't think Jeffrey really wants that one. There's a space space robot reproduction. There's a little red-headed um, gobel people. $19.99. What's this? Gift collection. Bruce Fox in New Albany. It's a little pineapple. Hmm. What's this? We have the first issue of an Indiana postage. 150th anniversary of Indiana being a statehood. Just fun stuff in this booth. French Lick. Pluto water is big for here and that's their, their little logo is the, the devil. Phil 
filter pane. Oh, looky here. This is a nice Fire King. It's got, this is the C handle. It does have some rough spots there. It's $12. These are very hard to find. I mean, I'm tempted to still get it. Oh, it's got a chippy here. Eee. I don't think I'm going to, but I'm tempted because they're hard to find. Look at this jolly pig playing the cymbals on this drum. It's a little, oh, it's a piggy bank. It is $9.99. What's this? It's a bar display. Oh, I think you put a bottle in it. Yeah, you put a bottle in there. This is $2 for this little pottery bird. $8 for the vase. What? Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross. Okay, Scott, no comments. It's three, I'm gonna get this. You can put a bottle brush tree in it. These were in here before, but these, and I filmed in here last time, but the MC Hammer wrap fashions hammer mc hammer oh my gosh who else had hammer pants i did it's hammer time there's two of them i'm actually gonna look them up on ebay just to see what they're going for all right i'm gonna get both of them they're five dollars but this one i'll put the the thing on the screen this one sold for 30 this one sold for 25 so i'll probably will try selling them together on ebay so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that these as well as I while I was at it I went ahead and looked up Yo-Yo my walking kitty and I'll put the I'll put the um the sold comp on the screen. There's only one that's listed and it's not in the original box. And there's one and it sold for like $20. So they he wants 39 for this. And there's one that sold for, no, one that's listed for 120 This one's still in the original box. It's also still wrapped in the original plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and try Yo-Yo My Walking Kitty. It's from the 90s. We're going to give her a go and see. I also looked up him, and he sells for about $40 in... Th th this one's he's from 1974, and he has all of his parts. He has a little bit of wear on his clothes, but... I mean, he, overall, he's in really pretty good condition, so we're going to give him a go-to. And honestly, if I don't sell him, I'm fine with that because, like I said, he is an improved clown. Honestly, I'm telling you that the toys from the 70s and stuff are, and really from the 90s, it really needs to, t you need to take a second look at because they are becoming quite popular online. So um, just throwing that out there. I'm just looking around to see what else I've missed. If I've missed anything else, this is a pretty good booth. All right, I'm also gonna pick, I have sold these colored lenses before. I don't remember if they're for a car or a lantern. Sometimes they will have, um, they'll be embossed with the maker. And this is an obvious barn find you can see, but it does come with the aluminum casing. Uh, Mitchell, I don't know. But it's seven dollars for all of the colored lenses and i do know that these have sold for me before on ebay so um i'm gonna for seven dollars i've got the blue amber red and green lens so i'm gonna pick those up as well for ebay yikes look at that chair with the clowns on it no 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 um I just messaged Jeffrey about some of these train cars, but there's this little can up here. Low calorie cola. Check. It's only a sixth of a calorie per can. It's an old steel can, but I like it. It's $2. I think for like the 4th of July, it would be great as a display. So I'm going to put this in my cart. My quite full, my quite full cart. Here we go. It's quite full, but... And this is, I mean, that's where I started. I've not gotten very far. Okay, next booth over, we've got some Longaburger cup and saucers. $8 per set, which doesn't seem like a bad price. We like the Longaburger heritage pattern, I think that might be. 
Here's a really pretty piece of Fenton silver crest. $16, this is a good price. It's not marked Fenton, but it is Fenton. I know I should probably get it, but I'm not going to today. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. All right. The Wonga Burger. What is this? The Galloping Gourmet TV Cookbook. Galloping Gourmet. You get all of the Galloping Gourmet. Graham Care. All of his cookbooks. Favorite dishes, deep South Pacific European masterpieces. Was he a cowboy? Who, who, who are you? The Galloping Gourmet. Oh, wow. Old English pubs and genuine stroganoff. New restaurants and old year. Was he the Galloping Gourmet just because he went to like different places? France, Switzerland, and Holland. And then we have New Zealand. So I'm um, apparently he went to places all over and that's he galloped from place to place. He wasn't a cowboy apparently. I don't think cowboys wear suit and tie, but not on a normal day's basis at least. Ooh, you're a big bear. What do you do with your mouth? Why are you like that, bear? Oh, you're a puppet. That's why. That makes sense now. My word. Look at that there tree. It's got a hat, toilet paper eyes, and a mask as a mouth. That's clever. I love seeing booths decorated for the holidays. I love it. It makes me so happy. Good job, booth. Where are you? <gasps> Color. Aww. It's five dollars. Let's see what kind of condition. Oh, it fine carrots. Oh, it's a paint book. Phew, I'm tired. Such cute graphics on that, isn't it? It's actually in really good condition. Florence Sarah Winship, which I like her illustrations. So Ay, ay, ay. Do I get you for five dollars? I mean, it's in really nice condition. None of it's been colored in. I mean, I know no. There's a little bit of wear up here at the top, but it is Whitman. I don't know what that. I'm gonna get it. I can't leave it behind. Look at the colors on these cookie cutters. There's Santa in there. Those are all Wilton. Christmas cookie cutters for three dollars. Um, I'm probably gonna get those too. Give someone you love a Christmas goose. I don't understand. You're a Mary's angel. How much are you? Two dollars. I collect these. I don't. You know what? I buy these. I don't know if I have them or not, but it doesn't matter. It's two dollars. I'm gonna take a risk. Oh my gosh. Poor division. Oh, Radio Shack. Oh, remember Radio Shack? I do. Oh, look at the monkeys. They're five dollars. They're just sitting there thinking. They're just sitting there thinking. All right, so we've got this is a booth that has a lot of poodles. But there's a Kmar poodle, or Kamar. I've seen these poodles before, and they're very nice. This one's nice with the, um, she's $16.95. But we need to have a, maybe have a sale on the poodles, maybe, possibly. Santa Claus Land, $6.95. Oh, Spring Mill State Park, that's near my, where I, where I live. Here's a little bell for $2 again. World's Greatest Square. What? World's Greatest Liar. World's Greatest Blusher. I don't understand. 
Here's a little. It's five dollars for a little paperweight. She was like, "What did I do? What did I get on my hand?" She's like a little Hummel esque. She's not Hummel, but she is Hummel esque. Oh, Felix. This is a Rand McNally, I do believe. No, Wonder Books for two dollars. Felix on television. It says it's a flip it book. What does that mean? Let's see if we can oh this is this is my wonder book, Bobby. Nineteen fifty six. What's a oh you flip it okay. Let's see if we can do it. You gotta put them all in our hands, but you flip it up here and it'll look like he's in motion. See? I'm gonna get that. I like that. It's in great shape for two dollars. I think Jeffrey might need this. He can party like a flock star and open up his bottles from that flamingo's butt. It's got dangly legs. That's bizarre. Hmm. I don't think I would like to today, sir. All right, here's a little handcrafted little pixie. Someone's made him. He's a homemade wood piece. He's $9. I'm gonna get him and keep him and put him in my yard. He's got a little snowman guy too. I might actually get both of them because they're just kind of fun and just kitschy and whimsical and somebody painted them and made them and had them in their yard. So I'm definitely gonna get this guy. I don't know if I'm gonna get the snowman or not. I'm not really a snowman person. I'm really not. I'm sorry, sir, but I, I'm a pixie in Santa girl. So I think I'm just gonna get the pixie. I'm sorry, snowman. Looky here, there's the prize patrol bank. <laughs> That's funny. And there is something over here that I had seen that I'm going to get. And oh, here it is. It's this. It's an old ashtray, but it's Thrift Quartz of America. It's Perry, Georgia. It's, I don't know. I just like it. I think with a bottle brush tree in it, it's $3. So I'm going to get that. I just like it. I like that graphic on it. This is a cute little sun catcher here. Someone has made it. It is a homemade sun catcher and it's been kind of soldered to this, but it's a nice big cardinal. Seven dollars. So I think I might get that. A lot of people like cardinals. I think it'd be pretty hung in the window. Well, I got some really great things here at Finders Keepers in Fritch Lick, Indiana. So make sure if you are in the area that you do stop in, there's lots of good things to find really get great prices and really fun things to look at. So everything that I purchased today, you had seen me pick up. So if there's anything that you might be interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and I will let you know if it's still available. I can't believe I bought a clown today, but like I said, it's Ronald. Ronald is acceptable, especially since he's going for a pretty penny on eBay and I can sell him. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.